Hi there. As I intend to go paddling soon, I need some paddles. So I will transform this thing into something looking like this. The Greenland paddle I'm making is made to fit the paddler's measures. The first measure I need is the total length of the paddle. I find this measure by adding the arm width with the distance from the inner elbow to the fingertip. In this case, 162 centimeters plus 38 centimeters. The total length of the paddle is marked on a plank, in this case 200 centimeters. The next measure is the width of the blade. The width equals the distance between the index finger and the thumb. The width is marked on a plank, in this case 8 cm. This width will make it possible for the paddler to grip the paddle at the end of the paddle. To make it easier to roll, for example. 200 cm is the overall length. 8 cm is the width. Of the hand for my, for my daughters and my wife. The third measure is the width of the handle. That is the distance between the hands. In this case 46 centimeters. The handle is marked on the plank. 23 centimeters from the center point in each direction making a 46 cm handle in this case. The fourth measure is the thickness of the handle. 3.6 cm is marked on the plank. Where the handle is. The start of the blade is made to half the width of the blade at the end, in this case 4 cm. Middle point 100 cm. Start of the blade, 40 mm width, and start of the handle, 36 mm. And this is just the transformation zone, 2 cm. The edge of the blade is drawn as a straight line. From the start of the blade to the end. I positioned the the paddle on the wood so to avoid some of the knots this one and these smaller ones so on this side I think it looks great the only problem is this knot but um, it will have to do yeah so now let's start cutting As any normal TV chef, I have of course made a prototype first. I make this prototype to fit my own measures. When I have cut the profile of the paddle on one face, it is time to mark the profile of the orthogonal face. I write the thickness at each station from the blueprint. Mark the center line on the side. From the center line I extend outlines with the thickness at each station so that I can draw the profile. On the prototype I made the profile more elliptical. This will make the paddle stronger but also more heavy and more noisy when hitting the water. Before I can shape the profile I need some guiding lines. The guiding lines will help me to form the timber to an octagon as the handle should be a bit elliptical. 
I place the guiding lines a little off the middle point. For the blade, I make symmetrical guiding lines halfway out from the center line. On the prototype, I did not think so much and did a more artistical approach. I can always cut away more material later, but it's harder to go the other way. The surface layer is shaped by sanding. I decided to strengthen the surface with epoxy, as bruise is so soft. After the first test run, I decided to cut off some more material and redo the surface treatment. In this case also with a couple of layers of varnish. Continuing on my ladies paddle. I shape the octagonal shape first with the planner and later with the sander. With the sander it is easier to follow the swift change in the slope. From the blade to the handle on this short paddle. When I have made the octagon shape up to the guiding lines and I'm happy with the result. It is an easy and quick process to round the paddle while removing the guiding lines. The same surface layer is applied on this paddle. Now it should be possible to go paddling. If you enjoyed watching, please consider to leave a like and a comment.